We had details tonight on a Monroe County de Sheriff's deputy now fired following an inappropriate misconduct investigation. That's right. The GBI and FBI also helped with this investigation. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes joins us now live with the story. Joy. Shelby Tucker, it, they say it all started here while former deputy William Miller was doing his regular rounds on duty. He pulled a woman over for a DUI and methamphetamine possession. That's when he told her that he might be able to make it go away if she did something for him first. This was a slap to all law enforcement people, the men and women of this office and the men and women that protect us everywhere. Monroe County Interim Sheriff Al Shackelford's reaction to accusations that former Deputy William Miller abused his power as an officer of the law. We as law enforcement are held to a higher standard and, and we emphasize that over and over again. We emphasize doing the right thing, treating everybody with dignity and respect. A misconduct investigation into Miller's interaction with a woman he'd arrested in July revealed that he'd offered her help with her charges in exchange for sexual favors. We did the internal investigation, but we turned the criminal investigation over to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the FBI because it is a oath of office issue. He was placed on administrative leave. The investigation that started August 24th showed Sheriff Shackelford a different side of the deputy he thought he knew. Our dealings with him here were very professional, so without a doubt, we were in shock. The biggest piece of evidence in the case was a recorded conversation between Miller and the woman. Our internal affairs people met with Ms. Roberts that night, listened to the audio, took a statement from her, and um, found some evidence to, uh, of a beer that was offered to her. Miller was fired Thursday and taken into custody for violation of oath of office. Miller is now out on bond, and Sheriff Shackelford tells us that Miller had never had any prior incidents of any kind while he was working with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office or any other agency that he was a part of as a law enforcement agent. Well. He will probably likely never work in law enforcement again because this charge is so serious. Reporting live in Forsyth, Joy Dukes, 41 NBC News. All righty, thank you, Joy. Well, the woman involved is currently in the Fulton County Jail for a probation violation. She was facing charges for DUI and possession of a methamphetamine.